The first supersonic bomber developed in Russia was the Tupolev Tu-160, also known by its NATO reporting name, Blackjack. This aircraft represents a significant milestone in military aviation, being the largest and fastest supersonic bomber in the world. The Tupolev Tu-160 was designed by the Tupolev Design Bureau during the Cold War, with its development commencing in the early 1970s. The Soviet Union sought to create a strategic bomber that could enhance its nuclear deterrent capabilities against the United States. The design process took about a decade, culminating in the aircraft's first flight on December 18, 1981. It officially entered service with the Soviet Air Forces in April 1987. The Tu-160 features a variable sweep wing design, allowing it to optimize performance at various speeds. This design choice contributes to its impressive speed capabilities, enabling it to reach speeds of up to Mach 2. The bomber is powered by four MK-32 engines, which are among the most powerful engines ever fitted to a bomber. The Tu-160 is not only notable for its speed, but also for its payload capacity. It can carry a variety of munitions, including nuclear weapons, making it a critical component of Russia's strategic nuclear forces. The aircraft can be equipped with up to 12 KH-101 cruise missiles, which are capable of striking targets at long distances while remaining outside the range of enemy air defenses. The bomber's design also incorporates advanced avionics and electronic warfare systems, enhancing its survivability and effectiveness in combat scenarios. Over the years, the Tu-160 has undergone several modernization programs to update its systems and extend its operational life. Since its introduction, the Tu-160 has played a vital role in Russia's military strategy. It has participated in various military operations, including airstrikes during the Syrian Civil War where it demonstrated its capabilities by launching precision strikes against ground targets. The aircraft's ability to operate at high speeds and altitudes allows it to evade many contemporary air defense systems. As of recent reports, the Tu-160 remains in active service with the Russian Aerospace Forces, with ongoing modernization efforts to ensure its relevance in modern warfare. The aircraft's legacy continues as it symbolizes Russia's strategic bomber fleet and its commitment to maintaining a robust nuclear deterrent. In summary, the Tupolev Tu-160 stands as a testament to Soviet engineering prowess and remains a formidable asset in Russia's military arsenal, showcasing the evolution of bomber technology in the supersonic era.